First thing to note about this question is this sentence here has got a typo. So here where it says smaller, it should say larger. So it says that uh, the base area, i.e. the width times the length of the large box is 10 times, originally it says 10 times smaller than the base of the small box, but it should, should be 10 times larger. So that's a typo and it's acknowledged by uh, the exam board that set the uh, exam. So what we're going to do is we've been given five statements, A to E, and we're just going to go through each statement, kind of working out what it means. So statement one is that the eight small boxes fit inside one uh, medium box. So uh, eight small boxes fit inside neatly inside one medium box. So that means that the volume, this is the volume here, so the width times the length times the height. So eight of those of the small ones go into one of the medium ones. We're also told that the length of the small box is the same as the height of the medium box. So length of the small box is the same as the height of the medium box. We are told that the uh, base area, the width times the length of the large box is nine times that of the base area of the small box. So this is the base area of the small box. This is the base area of the large box and we need nine of those, nine small box box areas to fit in one large box area. We are told that the lengths of all three boxes add up to 2.4 meters. So the length of the small box plus the length of the medium box plus the length of the large box equal 2.4 meters. Final thing that we are told about this is the width of the medium box is twice the height of the small box. So there we go, the height of the small box, so twice the height of the small box, is equal to the width of the medium box. And each of these facts, so I've just hidden, hidden the facts uh, up there, and what we're looking for is the lengths of the three boxes, and the width to height ratio, and the width to length ratio. Now, uh, to do this, we're going to need to make a substitution. So I'm going to call x h over w, so the height divided by the width, and I'm going to call y the, uh, I'm going to call it the length divided by the width. And we can do that because the same, each box, the, each of the different boxes has got the same uh, width to length ratio and the same uh, length, uh, height to length ratio. So I've just put those up there as well because that's a fact that uh, I'm going to use throughout this uh, solution. So we can say uh, because I've made x the height uh, divided by the width, it's the same true for all boxes. So the height of the small box there uh, divided by the width of the small box, we're going to call x. So if we rearrange that for the height of the small box, uh, then we've got uh, x times the width of the small box. I've called y the length divided by uh, the width. So the length of the small box divided by the width of the small box uh, is going to be y. So the length of the small box is y times the width of the small box. Now I'm going to substitute these uh, numbers in, so uh, these uh, kind of subst substitutions in uh, to the relationship A. So I'm going to use this and I'm going to put these the these instead of the uh, height of the small box I'm going to use x times the width of the small box so we're told that the uh, eight small small boxes fit in the medium box so we're going to have the width of the small box times the length of the small box which I have just made uh, y times the width of the small box uh, and then that's times by the height of the small box which I've made x times the width of the small box now each of the small, medium and large boxes they've all got the same uh, kind of aspect ratio if you will so we can make just the same substitution for the medium boxes as well 
So what I'm trying to do here is get rid of uh, get rid of some of these variables. So I've gone from having six variables originally in A, and then I've whittled it down to two by making that substitution. The x's and the y's uh, end up cancelling. So what we end up with is uh, eight times the width of the small box cubed time uh, is equal to the width of the medium box cubed. If we take uh, cube roots of both sides, then cube root of 8 is 2. So what we find that the width of is that the width of the small box is 2 times uh, the width of the medium box. And because we've done that, we can also say that the that the width of the the height of the small box is 2 times the height of the medium box because they share that that kind of aspect ratio uh, as I just mentioned and the length of the small box is 2 times the length of the medium box so I'm going to take those facts and I put those up there because we're going to need to know them later So next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to use uh, statement C to help us, again, get rid of some of those variables. So here we've got a, uh, something, uh, an equation that's got four variables in. Just pop that to the side there, make a little bit of space uh, just on the left here. And this time I'm going to make the y equal to the length divided by the width. So the length of the small box divided by the width of the small box and rearrange that for, uh, to get, so y, uh, y times the width of the small box is the length of the small box. Also going to make y uh, the length of the large box divided by the width of the large box. And again, rearrange that for the uh, length of the large box. And what I can do is I can take the this bit here and this bit here and I can put them in this equation here and in doing so we can uh, cancel out some of those variables so on one side of the equation I've just got those uh, w uh, the width of the small box and I've got y here but that's a constant and we'll see that cancels and over here I've got just the width of the large box there so there we go our y's cancel and what we end up with is uh, 9 times the width of the small box squared. And that's equal to uh, the width of the large box squared. Taking square roots of both sides, we find that the large box is 3 times as wide as the small box. And because they share that um, aspect ratio, the height of the small box is uh, three times smaller than a large box, or the large box is uh, three times bigger, and the large box is three times longer as well. So again, I'm going to put those uh, facts up there, just so that we can use them later. So I'm now going to start looking for the lengths of the different boxes. Now statement D tells us that the length of the small box, box plus the length of the medium box plus the length of the large box is 2.4 metres. But instead of using the length of the medium box, I'm just going to use the fact that we know that the medium box is twice that of the small box and the large box is three times that of the small box. Now we've got an equation where we've only got one variable, so it's quite straightforward to solve uh, for the length of the small box to find that the length of the small box is 0.4 meters. So I'm just going to write that on the uh, side there because that's one of the important bits of information that we needed to find out. That's one of the goals of this uh, particular question. Now we're going to use statement D to find the length of the medium box. Now the length of the small box is half that of the medium box. And the length of the large box is 1.5 times the length of the medium box. We can find that out from uh, the facts that we learned about earlier. So these facts here can tell us that. So we've got an equation now with just the length of the medium box. And we can solve that for the length of the medium box 
uh, to give the length of the medium box as 0.8 meters. So again, I'm going to write that important information down on the side there. Now we're again going to use statement D. Now that we've got the length of the small box and the length of the medium box, we know the length of the boxes in total, so we can just simply find the length of the large box by just uh, using a simple equation like that to find the length of the large box is 1.2 meters. Now we're going to use statement E to find the a ratio of width to height and width to length. Now statement E told us uh, that the width of the medium box was twice that of the height of the small box and we know that they're equal to other uh, kind of facts about this question as well so uh, that's all, they are also equal to the width of the so they're also twice the width of the small box so we're looking for that width to height ratio so we can use the width of the small small box and the height of the small box there and we find that they've got a ratio of 1 so width of the small box divided by the height of the small box is 1 and that's the same for all the boxes final thing that we need to do is find that width to length ratio so we know that the length of the small box and the height of the me is the equal to the height of the medium box, uh, and then they're both equal to two times the height of the small box. So what we've got is we uh, there uh, then we can say that the width of the small box is uh, twice all these other things as well, and what we've got is the width of the small box and the length of the small box. So put those equal to each other and we find that the ratio of the width of the small box to the length of the small box, which is what we are looking for, is a half. So just to summarize these points, the we've got the width to height ratio here, the width to length ratio here, and the lengths of all the individual boxes.